Hey guys, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today I'm doing another unboxing video. This time I have a Bloom scooter, which is a $1,900 electric scooter that I had shipped out to me from California. Now I don't really know what's in here and that's for a couple reasons. One, Bloom doesn't actually have a lot of specs on the website, so I'm not really sure what this scooter is going to be capable of. And two, the pictures on the website are actually stolen from another electric scooter company called Nu, which is a Chinese company that makes awesome electric scooters. And uh, the pictures look great, but they're not Bloom scooters, they're Nu scooters. So I don't even know what this scooter is going to look like. But let's get this thing unboxed and find out. Whatever, I'm just ripping this box. The bubble wrap is a nice touch. <laughs> and I assume I can just take these two beams out and I should be able to wheel this thing out. I'll maybe take these out too. Free hardware. And they got wire ties all over this thing. Let's see if I can wiggle this sucker out. Whoa. All right, it's starting to look like something now. It's just me or the seat looks like all dirty. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh yeah. Oh man, the right brake is just, man, that pulls really far. Look at that. Shouldn't be able to touch. Why is that front brake pulling so far? See, this one feels nice. It's only got a that off. It's only got a little bit of pull. I don't know, I gotta look at that brake. That's weird. Do I gotta bleed that sucker? I see a little bubble in there. I have to try tightening that down overnight, see if I can squeeze some of the air out of that. Turning it on and nothing is happening. How do I turn this thing on? Let's try opening this thing up. How do I unlock it? What? Where's the key go? Where's the... Where do I... What? There's no keyhole. There should be a keyhole somewhere, shouldn't there? How do you open this thing? Alright guys, I figured it out. Now with the key, if you push it in and turn it, that's the steering column lock. But if you leave it part way out and turn it, that releases the lock for the seat. So now I've got my on-off switch, my mirrors, and my charger, which is the lightest weight charger I've ever felt. And I hear something moving in there. Let's get these mirrors on. Round and round. Alright, now let's turn this thing on. That sounds good, I think. Alright. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. 79 volts, which is apparently full. Seems odd. Oh no, are those SLA batteries? These switches look like they've been painted over with Sharpie, so I I guess oh, there's Chinese under there. Alright, so I guess the Chinese wouldn't have helped me. Alright, so that's full throttle, that's pretty slow. Let's try putting that switch that way. Oh, that's reverse, okay. Alright, so the, the bigger switch here is reverse. I guess this is probably three speeds. Let's try the inner one. It's pretty slow. A little faster. Alright, that's the fastest one. We got hazards. Blinkers appear to be working. Look at that. Nice. Blinkers going alright. Try a little beep beep. Oh, that's a lot louder than I expected. All right, let's give this thing a try. The funny thing is, from zero, it's got a strong pull. 
like right off the line, but for like the first six kilometers an hour. And then the acceleration is just sort of all right. Brakes are pretty, pretty good. All right, let's head around to the garage so I can go get my helmet. All right, now let's do this. Yeah, it's just odd how high you have to pick your feet up here. I guess it's because there are batteries below the seat and below your feet. But I'm used to my Gen Z scooter where the, the floor is really low. Here it's, it's kind of high. All right, it feels, it feels decently good actually. Feels better than I would have expected. All right, I got a wide open road. I'm in highest speed mode. Let's see what speed I get up to. All right, it says I'm going 66, but it does not feel like I'm going 66. Let's pull out my phone here. Let's get our speedometer app going. Put it in kilometers per hour. All right, let's do this. So I'm going 40 kilometers an hour, and the display says I'm going 66. So it seems a little bit optimistic, I would say, on the speed. Maybe, maybe more than a little bit optimistic. So at 40 kilometers an hour, that's 25 miles per hour. This is definitely a city scooter. You're not taking this on any highways. You're even not taking this on a lot of bigger city roads at 25 miles an hour. But you know what, for just running around the neighborhood, for going to get groceries, I mean, how much more than 25 miles an hour do you need? You know, that's, that's a neighborhood electric vehicle right there. The overly optimistic speed thing's a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's one thing when it's like, you know, three or four miles an hour higher, or maybe like six kilometers an hour. This thing's pushing like 25 kilometers an hour too high. I do like this little spot here. You can stick something, like I stuck my phone there. And the bag clip is also nice. A lot of scooters are missing those, and I feel like that's an important part of an electric scooter is having that bag clip. I guess not just electric, any scooter. All right, I got some serious potholes here. Yeah, I would say the, uh, the suspension's hit another one. Oh. Yeah, the suspension's not amazing. I think that's fair to say. It's really silent, I'll give it that. That is very nice. Some of these motors have quite a whir to them. This one is basically just silent. And the acceleration is decent, you know? It's not amazing. It's certainly not as, uh, as powerful as my city slicker. That's got like a four kilowatt motor. But it's, it's pretty good, I would say, the acceleration. Let's do a hard braking test. And go. All right, I probably could have braked a little bit harder, but yeah, I think that was pretty good. I'd say the brakes are actually pretty good. Yeah, the suspension is not amazing. Um, I wouldn't call it harsh, but I wouldn't call it good either. But you know, for a $1,900 scooter, how good of a suspension can you ask for, you know? The other thing I like is that there is space here for a passenger. You know, I can scoot forward a little bit more. And this is perfectly comfortable to ride like this, and you can get a decent sized person back here. Plus, I know my wife will like this. There's that little uh, backrest there, so she's not gonna feel like she's coming off the edge. And right, now that I'm in the garage and things are quieter, I hear like a little tick, 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 tick. I don't know if you guys hear that. I assume that's a disc brake, maybe? All right, so first ride, I only spent like five or six minutes on this thing, and it was pretty good, I would say. The suspension's not amazing, the acceleration is decent, but overall it rides pretty well. It only gets up to about 25 miles an hour or 40 kilometers per hour, so it's not gonna be a fast scooter, but if you can get by on streets where you're only going 25, this could be a nice option. The suspension's not amazing, but you do have a pretty cushy seat, so that helps. Uh, I'm going to be doing a full review for this sucker on electric though, so make sure you check there. 
because uh, I'll be putting a lot more miles on this and I'll get into a lot more detail. But so far I would say for a budget scooter, if you know, 1900 bucks, this is not bad. Uh, I, I could see myself riding this around just in the city. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, last but not least, time to announce the winner of last week's book giveaway. And the winner is... Jonathan Lin. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like. Either the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, DIY Lithium Batteries, or DIY Solar Power. And anybody else who wants one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment below this video, and hopefully you'll be chosen at the end of the next video. Alright, thanks for watching everybody, see you next time.